हेलो गाइस आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल टुडे आई हैव विद मी गूगल पिक्सेल टैबलेट एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट 15 बेस्ट फीचर्स फॉर दिस टैबलेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट the first feature is about multitasking for example i open this note taking app and here i will start taking my notes now i want to open another app in split screen i will take out this taskbar i will press and hold this google chrome and i will drag it here in this split screen like this now here you can see i search some images on google for example i like this image and i want this image in my notes so what i will do is i will use my pen i will press and hold it like this and i can easily drag it here in my notes like that so here you can see the same image is now available i can resize it i can crop it i can duplicate it i can use my pen for example if i want to label it if you want to highlight it you can also highlight it as well same way you can also bring text from a website into your notes for example i open this website and here i have this text i will use my pen i will select this text so for example i will select till here now here is the copy option i just select this copy and the text is now copied now what i want i want to paste it in my notes so first of all what i will do i select this t icon and then i will just press it like this on my notes and then here you can see we have this paste option so we just select this paste so the text is paste if you want to edit you can also edit it and once you finish with your editing just select this tick icon now the text is available in my notes and then if you want you can also highlight this text if you want to create some kind of shape you can also do it the next thing is you can also resize these apps in split screen like this so for example if i want to make this note taking app bigger i can bring it here and then if you want you can also change their position so just select this bar from here just double tap it like this and you can see the apps now change their position so i have the note taking app on this side and here i have my website the next feature is about screen recording for example you open microsoft one note and here you want to prepare some kind of lecture and you want to make some kind of presentation and you want to record it so just bring down this quick panel here you see the screen recording toggle just select it once you select it here it will give you the option of record audio so you can enable this option option and then select this start option so once you select the start option here is the countdown after this countdown your screen recording will start and you can prepare your lecture or presentation now for example you want to open another app here in split screen so again what you can do is just bring up this taskbar here you can see i have this microsoft powerpoint i will just drag it and drop here in split screen so here i have my slides you can change the slides from here and then here if you want you can also write now whatever you are doing it is recording in your tablet so if you want to stop this recording just bring down this quick panel and here you see the recording screen and audio option is showing so you can stop it from here and whatever you recorded it will be automatically saved in your photos so here is my screen recording if you want to play it you can play it from here the next feature is about book reading so you can use any book reading app so here for example i am using moon plus reader so in this app you will have a real page flipping experience so you can use your pen to flip the page or you can also use your fingers the next thing is if you want to read for a longer period of time you can use the night light option so bring down this quick panel and here you see this night light option so just press and hold it like this it will open the night light settings you can enable the night light from here and then from here you can change the intensity of night light so here you can see i reduce the intensity so if i want to increase it i can increase it from here so this is the full night light intensity now if you want to read you can read for a longer period of time so this will be really comfortable for your eyes 
the next feature is about digital planning you can use the penly app and here you have this amazing digital planner so here you can see we have this yearly calendar with different tabs and different buttons so for example you can select the month from here from here you can select a different date and then from here you can select to do list then we have this notes option here you can select different template for example i select this template and here on top we have different tools for example i have this pen tool i can start writing here on my penly app using this digital planner now the next thing is if you want you can also create hyperlink for example i want to create hyperlink for my handwriting so i will use the selection tool i will select my handwriting and then here i select this icon and here is the link option so i just select this link option then i select this web link now here you can write the name of website for example i want to write here brainly.com so i will write here brainly.com and then i press ok so the link is now created i will go back from here I will open this digital planner again and now what I will do I will just tap on my handwriting like this and here it will ask me that if I want to open this website I will press ok and here it will open this website for me so this is really really amazing the next feature is about stylus pen so guys this tablet does not include any pen you have to buy the pen separately the pen that i am using is penoval usi 2.0 you can easily attach this pen at the back side of tablet so here you can attach it magnetically and you can also attach it here so this pen has 4096 pressure sensor levels and it include the usb type c charging cable so here is the cable and it also include this extra nib so here is the box for this pen so you can see this box so it will support palm rejection and it has the fast charging option so with the 50 minutes of charge you will get 90 hours of battery life the price for this pen is 60 dollars you can use this pen for no taking for example here i am using notewise app you can use a different tools for example here i am using this pen tool you can also use this highlighter tool you can also erase it if you want to create some kind of shape you can also use this pen and then you can also use this laser pointer if you want to highlight something important in your notes you can use other apps as well for example you can use microsoft one note and here again you can use this pen for note taking if you want to highlight something you can also use the highlighters the other app that you can use is flexil so here is the flexil app i will open this app and then here you can also use this pen tool for taking different type of notes you can also use this pen for pdf annotations you can use the zodo app so here i open this app and here i select my pdf file now for example if you want to highlight you can use this highlighter tool here so i will use my pen to highlight this text and then for example if you want to underline you can use this underline tool as well and then for example if you want to write you can just use this writing tool and then if you want to create some kind of shape just select this annotate option then here we have this draw option and here we have different shapes for example you want to create this kind of rectangle shape you can also do it you can also use it for signing the pdf so here select this arrow here we have this fill and sign option just select this option here we have the sign tool and then here we have the create signature option just select it here you can create your signature then press done now wherever you want your signature just use your pen so just i want my signature here i will just select it so my signature is now available here so you can do a lot in this zodo app i made a separate video about it so you can see that video you can also use Microsoft Office web version for free in this tablet. So you can open the Google Chrome and here you can open this website. Name of the website is office.com. So after signing in, here is your dashboard. Select these dots from here. So if you just select these dots, so here we have different apps available. You can use Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, and all the other Microsoft Office apps. For example, I want to open Microsoft Excel. I will just select this Excel 
Excel from here. So here I have the Excel dashboard. Now I select this new blank workbook. So here it will open a new workbook with all the tools. So here you can see we have different tools available. For example, if you want to use the formulas, so here is the formula tab. So here we have all different formulas that are available for Excel. Then if you select this insert option, we have this pivot table option. We have pie charts. Uh, then we have a different graphs option available. If you select this data tab, we have data options also available. We have this page layout option. So all the different Excel tools available over here. You can also select this share option and then you can copy the link and you can share it with your friends or with your colleagues. The next feature is about focus mode. So you can bring down this panel and then just scroll here. You see this focus mode option. So you can turn on this focus mode and this will turn off all the distracting apps and it will also hide their notifications as well. So it will be really helpful and you can focus on your studies or on your project. So you can also customize this focus mode. So again, bring down this quick panel and then here we have this focus mode option. Just press and hold it like this it will open the focus mode settings so here you can do all your customizations for example if you want to add the distracting apps from here so here is the list of all the apps so you can just select any app for example i want to add this calculator app so i will just select it like this now it will add to the distracting apps now whenever i turn on the focus mode this calculator will be turned off so here you can see i already selected my distracting apps. The next feature is about adding text to your notes. For example, you open this website and here you have this text and you want this text in your notes or you just want to save this text for future references. So you can use your pen and then just start selecting the text. So for example, I want to uh, select this text till here. Now I want this text in my notes. I select this share option. So once you select this share option, it will show you different platforms. So now you can just scroll and here you see this Microsoft OneNote. So I will just select this OneNote option. Now this text is saved in OneNote. You can select this view option. So here you can see the text that I selected is now available in my Microsoft OneNote and it also has the link of the website. The next feature is about taking a screenshot and sharing it. So you can swipe it upside like this and here here it will show you all the recent apps. Now for example, I want to take a screenshot for this website. So here is the screenshot option. I will just select this screenshot option. So here you can see the screenshot is now done. So just select this pen from here and now I can do all the editing in this screenshot. For example, if I want to write, I can write using my pen. I can also use this highlighter option if I want to highlight some important information. Then if you want you can also crop it so for example I want to crop it till here and then if you want to erase something you can also erase it as well and once you finish with your editing you can select this share icon and you can share your screenshot with your friends with your colleagues the next feature is about widgets so you can control your widgets directly from home screen for example if you want to listen the audio books so here I'm using the Spotify widget so I can play the audio book from here and then for example if I want to play the next audiobook I can select this next option from here and then it will play the next audiobook the next thing is you can also use this habit tracker widget so this habit tracker I am using is from tick tick app so here you can also control your widget directly from your home screen the next one is the digital well-being widget so here it will show you the screen time if you just select it here it will give you more information and and then if I select this digital well-being and parental control here it will show me all my day activity on this tablet. The next feature is about this charging speaker dock. So you can attach your tablet for charging and it will also work as a speaker. So for example, if I want to attach my tablet, so here is the attachment part. So I will just put my tablet like this and it will attach magnetically. And then you can also turn on the screen saver. So here you can see I turn on uh, screen saver about my photos. So you can 
uh, create different type of uh, screen savers you can uh, customize it by yourself so guys there are a lot of dock settings that you can do so for example if you want to make changes in your dock settings just uh, go to your settings and then select this hub mode so inside this hub mode you have a lot of option you can customize for your dock so guys this tablet has google tensor g2 chipset with 60 hertz refresh rate the variant that i'm using is 8 gb ram with 128 gb of storage so guys you can also go for 256 gb of storage so here you can see the gaming performance of this tablet so you can see there is no lag the tablet is fast and responsive so guys please note that there is no sd card slot you cannot increase the memory of this tablet now let's talk about the battery life so guys the battery for this tablet is 7020 milliampere i start recording this video at 12:08 pm and now it's 1:47 pm so after 1 hour and 39 minutes we have 84% of battery left so if you use uh, your tablet for maximum use your battery will last about seven to eight hours so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much